How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Tony Two Guns. As you know, we've been doing the stomach vacuum, the Nolly Crea for our stomach control. So that way, when we're walking, our stomach doesn't protrude out and we'll be all lazy. No one can see it when you have your clothes on, but you know, you got that big belly, feels bloating, feels no control. So we learned how to do the stomach vacuum, and also, it's going to make us not be as lazy, try to keep our posture better. And yes, we're not going to walk around. Doing a stomach vacuum, we're not. The thing is, you learning how to do a stomach vacuum teaches you how to, at rest, be more like this as opposed to doing this. Just like with our posture. If we're not engaging, you may not feel that you're like flexing or doing a workout, but you are engaging certain things, certain stabilizing muscles, things in general, just to make this happen. Because if you're lazy about it, your posture and things like that happen. So little by little, if we're doing that with our stomach, it starts off looking like this maybe one day, little by little, little by little, little by little. And the thing is, that's just being lazy. But if we learn how to... I don't have to flex it the whole time and walk around like this and then not breathe and then boom. But it's just a regular, just, just just maintaining it. You learn how to do that. Stomach vacuum feels so hard. That's okay. Let's walk around all day. Whenever we remember, try to tighten our abs a little bit. Try to tighten a little bit. When we breathe, try to breathe with the belly a little bit over your chest. You don't want to, with your chest all the time. Breathe through the nose, out the mouth, activating certain things depending on what type of activity you're doing. You're running or meditating. Certain things are easier done certain ways, but we got to try it. So guys, stomach vacuums. Questions, comments, just shoot them below. Thank you.